In this section, I will be tuning timing at around 12 PSI. Um, in my boost tab here, I open my wastegate duty um, at 85.2% all the way up to 10 PSI. And so my max boost will be close to 12 PSI. And going back to the tuning tab over here, my ignition value at 12 PSI is about over 11.5. In order to start timing log, I want to log the fast channels. Uh, this, the AMECU, is capable of logging at a faster rate than you would if you were to PC log. So to set up the ECU logging, go to ECU logging, and then on the EC internal logging setup, you want to set up the, the fast channels. At the fast channel samples at 250 samples per second. And the slow channels samples at 31. And on the fast channel one, you want to set engine load, engine speed, O2, ignition timing, knock loads, knock retard, and throttle map. Um, on the another fuel map, boost target, air temp, cooling temp, knock loads, ignition map, and the wastegate out and boost targets. Um, so once these are set, you close the the tab and it will automatically save and you need to recycle your ECU. So turn off the ignition and turn the ignition back on and then I am going to go do another rock, a uh, watt run but and so now I am going to do a watt run um, increasing the timing at 12 psi to 11 to 12.5. And so I am going to do a watt run and I'm going to increase the ignition value uh, to 12.5 at 12 psi. So 11.5, I want to add the value, which is 1. And so now it's 12.5. I want to file, save, calibration as, I want to save it as a dining tune timing. And then I'll start the engine. And then I'll run, make a watt run, and then come back and look at my clock voltages to see if they increased. So looking on the map here, the um, knock bolts is fairly consistent and they are below about two bolts across the board. And I'm going to go to my statistics and look at the highest bolts. And on here, the maximum bolts in this graph is 1.9, so it's below two. I'm going to increase the timing at 12 PSI to 13.5. On this run, I will be doing a watt run at 13.6 emission value. Go to logging. I want to download the ECU log. Save. Open. We want to draw throttle. 
overlays, engine load, engine speed, emission timing, mount bolts, and O2. We want to go to engine load, set the black axis to 50 or 60. And looking at the green line is the timing line. So timing is about 12 to 13. And looking at the knock, about 1.5. And going to go to analysis, statistics, and the max knock is 1.82. So I am going to increase the ignition value one more um, degree and then do another lot there. And then I want to interpolate up to 14.6 vertical. Login, open AM log, and okay. so go to login, download EC log. Uh, overlays, speed, timing, O2. Oops. So right here you can see there's a break in the time emission timing. Um have emission timing knock votes of 2.9. So I want to the max emission timing at 12, I would say 13.6, so that will subtract one degree from there. Extrapolate down to the zero PSI. File save. And then I'm going to go do a second run just to look at my dog bolts to see if it's stabilized. Also, I want to go in and adjust my internal logging setup. I want to, I want, don't want boost target. I want and recycle. Okay, this run will be in a watt run of ignition value 13.6.
on. I'll open the latest PC log. There are no spikes and like not books. So I'll say at yeah, 12 PSI, emission value of 13.6 is a reasonable number for me. Looking at O2, the yellow, and the teal line, right here at engine speed of 4,008 PSI. 4,008 PSI, I need to increase. Calibration. Here, oscillates. 5,011 PSI. 5,000 PSI. Bit on the lean side on the way, so copy. Going for another third run just to verify my O2. I want to make sure my air temp is down into the 120s. So good knock bolts. So next I'll be tuning about 13 PSI and changing my ignition values. <laughs> 